how were you able to find that specific niche in helping young women and people of color? I think a lot of founders, not only of media products, but of other startups as well, will have very similar origin stories, which is that we all started with a pain point and we wanted to go out and solve it with our service or our product. So early in my journalism career, I started to notice this big problem, not just in my career, but also in the careers of the people who I covered as a reporter. And that problem is that women and people of color face unique barriers to professional success. And so many of us feel unprepared to face these barriers when we join the workforce. Because even if you have, you know, a world-class education and degrees, there's so much that school cannot teach you. Things like how to advocate for yourself at work or how to build a fulfilling career. These are lessons that we must learn through experience once we leave school. But these are also lessons that I think it would be really helpful to have before you join the workforce. So there were so many moments when I thought, oh my gosh, I wish someone had told me this before I got my first job or before I joined the workforce. And it just got to a point where I said that to myself so many times that I figured that's it. I'm going to create the product that I wish I had. 